Would you ever test an engine for a misfire with the engine off? And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys laughed and said no. Then could you please explain to me why the majority of people have said in my comments that you should be doing a static test of checking continuity on a circuit to see if the circuit's any good. If you understand automotive electrical and electrical in general, the best way of testing a circuit is in a dynamic state, meaning the circuit is alive, the circuit is intact, and it's actually doing a function that it normally does does in its day-to-day -day operation. In walks voltage drop. What many technicians fail to understand is if the customer is complaining about an issue with the vehicle running, driving, engine on, then why would you test it isolated, off, and in a non-dynamic state? So in all honesty, how many of you guys understand what voltage drop is and how important it is to use that while testing an actual circuit? Don't get me wrong, continuity testing does have its place. However, when you're testing an electrical circuit for a fault, the best way of doing so is in a dynamic state by doing a voltage drop test. Let me know in the comments if you guys are doing voltage drop testing and if you're not sure what that is, depending on how many of those I get is gonna be if I'm gonna create a long form video for you guys on YouTube of what voltage drop is and how to be able to apply it. See you guys on the next one.